I was auditioning for the show Sonic Boom, um, and I didn't. I don't know if I knew this at the time that we were auditioning for the video games too. Like I don't think I knew what was happening. <laughs> So I auditioned for it and I had a call back. Um, so I ended up uh, booking the part for the show and then we ended up recording the, uh, the video game first. So I was like, oh. But I had worked on those games before. I, I also play Charmy the Bee. So I, I, had, I was familiar with the Sonic world, um, but I, I really didn't know Tails. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know anything about him. Um, so yes, yeah, so I... I First did the video game and then we started working on the show. It was great because creating that character of Tails, um, I feel like he came to such a different place. You know, he was, you were able to, you know, there's dialogue and there's other characters and there's all this, this entire world. Um, so developing his character even more throughout the series was, it, it really was just one of those dream jobs that's just, I'm so lucky. <laughs> A lot more serious. There's a lot more um, more grounded. I think more grounded performance. It's not as broad for sure, because um, like video games, especially, you're like you're up here. The energy is up for every single line because it's like go, you know, like everything is fast and high energy. Whereas you know, with the movie, you're, there was of course some high energy moments for sure. I mean, you're being chased by Doctor Robotnik. Of course, there's going to be stuff, but in a much more grounded sort of space. In the movie, they're meeting for the first time, Tails and Sonic, and so it's the beginning of this relationship as opposed to the games where they're already buddies. And the show, for sure, they were, you know, he was his sidekick, he was his, his best friend. Um, so this is the beginning of the relationship, which is a different place to be. And while Tails always has some insecurities, but it's it's a weird dichotomy with him because he's so confident in his mechanics and his you know his invention building and things, even though lots of times they go awry. <laughs> he's very confident in that way, but he's also he's very sensitive and he's he's he gets insecure and like he idolizes Sonic so so much. So to be able to go in there and help him out at all in any way is like. Wow, no way. Seriously, me? Are you kidding?